Hey, what's going on everybody? It's the CD Guy, Johnny Z here. Thank you so much for tuning back into the channel, and today I'm going to be reviewing the new John Lennon Mind Games Ultimate Collection. John Lennon's fourth proper studio album here, Mind Games, is being reissued and expanded for its 50th anniversary to include remasters, outtakes, remixes, and session recordings uh, for, like I said, its 50th anniversary here. The 1973 LP joins Imagine from 2018 and the Plastic Ono Band from 2021 in the Ultimate Collection series of expansions expanded albums from Lennon's catalog overseen by Lennon's widow Yoko Ono and son Sean Ono Lennon. The Lennon Estate and Universal Music note that the upcoming set offers an immersive, deep listening experience and an in-depth exploration of this classic yet underappreciated record. So, were they right? The 6 CD and 2 disc Blu-ray collection box set showcases different mixes of the album from its beginnings to its final master, and like previous entries in the Ultimate Collection series, it includes the Ultimate Mix, Raw Studio Mixes, Elemental Mixes, you have some studio outtakes as well, so what I'm going to do is run through each of them here, talking about what was improved and, you know, most importantly, how they sound, so I'm going to go through all of the different mixes included here on this Ultimate Collection and, you know, just share my thoughts briefly on each of them, so let's get started. I should preface this by saying that my copy of the 6 CD box set did not arrive yet, so I had to turn to Spotify for this one, and, you know, I, I, I said this as well with the most recent Black Sabbath box set, is that, you know, it's probably for the best for what I'm going to be talking about in this particular review, which is dissecting the sound and what was improved upon, stuff of that nature, so to hear, you know, the sound on a good pair of headphones and really immerse myself in, you know, the production of this record was, I think, definitely for the best to hear it on headphones first on Spotify and, you know, dissect the sound that way, but my copy is coming can't wait to get it, but until then, yeah, I had to turn to Spotify. Let's start things off here with the Ultimate Mix. How does it compare to the original and what was improved upon? You know, in my opinion, the main thing here that was improved upon was the production tenfold, you know. The original is a great album, don't get it twisted, but, you know, the production always seemed a bit overdone to me. The original was produced by Lennon himself after previously working with Phil Spector and Yoko Ono on his previous three releases by 1973, so the Ultimate Mix here is clear and definitely free of the overindulgence Lennon definitely took in the producer's chair. The Elemental Mix is very cool. Stripping down the sound of the original, and you know, I love to hear a lot of John's acoustic compositions and renditions of his solo stuff. You know, just the sound of Lennon and his guitar or his piano, that's that's all you really need, in my opinion, here. So, this showcases that extremely well. Of course, it's stripped down, like I said, mostly acoustic, and you have no drums on here. John's vocals brought to the forefront, made to be the real focal point of this mix. It's my favorite mix on the collection, you know, and I need to continue listening, obviously. Ultimately, when my copy comes, I'll make my final decision, but... You know, when it comes to these leaner, more simple mixes, it might actually be better, as far as I'm concerned, than the original album tracks, which I think can best be described initially as, you know, very busy. So, definitely enjoying the more stripped-down sound on the Elemental Mix. Next, we have the Elements Mixes here, mixed by Sam Gannon, reducing the song to a minimum amount of instruments possible. At most, you have only three instruments being played at once, and the focus is now taken away from John Lennon's vocals here. You know, you have instrumental versions that show this album in a completely different light, you know, and I think it's a fantastic showcase for the other musicians here on this record, like Ken Asher on piano and organ, Sneaky Pete Klein Lowe, uh, who plays a pedal steel guitar for Tight As, and bassist Gordon Edwards on One Day at a Time. You know, these mixes offer an entirely different approach to the record. It's very ambient, very soothing, and I think Ken Asher is the MVP of this mix in particular. You know, his work on piano and organ on Mind Games and Out the Blue are nothing short of entrancing as far as I'm concerned, and so definitely this was the one mix I was most looking forward to hearing, and I definitely was not disappointed. Edited, mixed, and engineered by Sam Gannon, the Evolution Mixes are mini-audio documentaries that explore the development of each song from their very first demo state all the way through their fully formed master take via in-studio development, chat, and outtakes. Edited down from the original 16-track uh, multi-track tapes, demo cassettes, and other source tapes generally, you know, each of these Evolution documentary runs through the song sessions chronologically starting with demos or early takes all the way through, you know, the finishing product uh, with an exploration of the master take and its overdubs so it's very cool to hear the audio from the inside of the studio here during you know the making of these tracks i think lennon's spoken parts are very cool and really fascinating how it takes you into the songwriting process and i always thought lennon was an amazing songwriter which is like the understatement of the century i know but to hear you know the songwriting and recording process of this album unfold before us is a really cool treat and so i definitely found the evolution mixes 
mixes to be absolutely fascinating. Mixed by Rob Stevens, the raw studio mixes transport listeners to the center of the record plant in 1973 to hear exactly what was being recorded in the studio. And, you know, these songs have been mixed with minimum effects, tape delays, or reverbs. You know, the raw studio mixes stand really on their own to provide an alternate, uh, you know, listening experience, stripping away the effects, especially on John's vocals that were used in the production of the original album. So essentially what you have here is another stripped down version of the record. And I love it. You know, Lennon never did anything live from Mind Games before his passing less than a decade later. So to hear these tracks in a more laid back setting, raw as the title of the mix would suggest, and, you know, free of the effects on John's vocals, that kind of gives us a view into what these tracks would have sounded like live. And, you know, I love how unpolished these sound as well, especially considering the overproducing that Lennon would carry out on the original record, you know, in the end product. The Outtakes is the final disc in the collection here, taking the best alternate take from each song, giving us new versions of these tracks, and I thoroughly enjoyed listening to these and you know, just pinpointing some of the changes, some subtle, some not, you know, compared to the finished product, and I think ultimately the best track here on this mix of The Outtakes has got to be the 10-minute alternate version of You Are Here. Such a laid-back take, you know, 10 minutes goes by so fast, and at the end, John just goes, well, some of it's alright, I mean, some of it, the whole thing is great, you know, I mean, you know, it's always great to hear all it takes of some of these classic tracks here and the fact that Lennon you know the Lennon estate I should say have you know such a treasure trove of studio outtakes and material all these years later is beyond cool and definitely you know a reason to keep up with these ultimate collection releases going forward all in all, the Ultimate Edition of Mind Games is a fantastic look into the recording process of this record, as well as the versatility of some of these tracks, you know, which are being presented in many different forms. And Lennon's solo stuff was always a bit experimental. I've always preferred it to the solo work of the other three members of the Beatles here. And so, you know, I've always enjoyed Mind Games as well, although I'd say, the, you know, the weakest point of this record has to be its production, but they rectified that with the Ultimate Mix, which is great to hear. And, you know, I can't wait for my copy to come in the mail, but until then, I've been listening nonstop on on Spotify, which, like I said at the beginning of the video, I think was probably the best way to really immerse myself in the sound for this review, talking mainly about, you know, what was improved upon sonically, things of that nature, and so, obviously, I'm going to keep listening here, but can't wait for my copy to come so I can make my final determination on, you know, some of these mixes and which versions I prefer. But, you know, like I said before, these Ultimate Collections offer a treasure trove of Lennon material from the vault here that really present these solo records in a different light as far as I'm concerned. And in the case of Mind Games, definitely did renew my appreciation for this record as well. So, if you're going to buy this box set or you just feel like checking it out on Spotify, I highly recommend giving it a listen. It's definitely worth your time. So, that wraps up my review here of the Ultimate Edition of Mind Games by John Lennon. Just wanted to share my thoughts on the new box set released today. Can't wait for my copy to come in the mail. Very excited for that. I don't know, maybe I'll do an unboxing if I get around to it, but when my copy comes, it'll definitely be going on the shelf behind me, so very excited for that, and you know, yeah, just wanted to share my thoughts here briefly on each mix that I listened to on Spotify, and you know, I was very pleased with how this turned out, very excited, you know, at the possibility of more of these to come in the future, and you know, very much satisfied with the versatility showcased on a lot of these songs, like I had mentioned, so really enjoyed it here, just wanted to talk about it briefly on the channel here today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel down below, turn on the bell for notifications so you don't miss a new upload and let me know down in the comment section below what are your thoughts on the ultimate mix of mind games what's your favorite mix and do you think it's improved upon from the original i definitely want to hear from you and until next time it's the cg guy johnny z signing off take care everybody